from the Tokyo Institute of Technology in 1990. He is the current associate to the president and dean of admissions center at Kogakuin University in Japan. Um, at the present time, uh, Professor Hashimoto is a professor of the Department of Mechanical Engineering, uh, Kogakuin University, Japan. Uh, an associate to the president, Kogakuin University, Japan, and the dean of the admissions center. Uh, I would like to welcome him and his presentation on cross-cultural communication training for students in multidisciplinary research area of biomedical engineering. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning. Uh, the program relates to my several experiences. <clears throat> the first, uh, speaking about affiliation, I moved my, started with Tokyo Institute of Technology, Mechanical Physics, and School of Medicine in Kitasato University, and Electronics in Osaka Institute of Technology, and the biomedical engineering in Osaka Institute of Technology and mechanical engineering are back to mechanical engineering in Kogaku University. Uh, in 1977, I experienced internship abroad in West Berlin that was in, in West Berlin that, that time and Germany. <clears throat> And this internship abroad is the uh, origin point for my motivation to take this kind of program. And speaking about research work, uh, start with mechanical engineering, tribology, and artificial heart blood flow in medical university, and biomeasurement in electronics. And I created first department of biomedical engineering in Japan, 2005, not only virtual course, but also master and PhD course. And uh, now I belong to Kwanak uh, University. That's right shows a little bit movement of my tools. <clears throat> and speaking about uh, collaboration work with medicine, uh, I did uh, with uh, thoracic and cardiovascular surgery and orthopedics and plastic surgery and neurosurgery and anesthesiology. Uh, I'm now a, a dean of admission center, so let me speak some words of Kogaku University. Uh, Kogakuin means Institute of Technology in English, so we cannot use that. So we directly call it Kogakuin, Japanese name. And Kogaku University located in Tokyo area and ne just next door to the biggest station in Japan, Shinjuku, and also next door to the city hall of Tokyo. And you see uh, here is uh, our university, and it was the highest building, university building in Japan. It was. And uh, <clears throat> you see Mount Fuji behind that. And uh, we enjoy uh, cherry blossoms in spring and the color leaves in autumn in the uh, second campus, a little outskirts of the uh, center of Tokyo. And we have also a biomedical engineering research center. And the research center has nice uh, instrumentation facilities for micro-machining and cell culture. And we uh, have a nice collaboration with medical school and pharmacological school. And uh, <clears throat> this uh, meeting, this conference gives as a very nice, very uh, 
nice chance to take a biomedical engineering session. Uh, this one includes a bio tube culture on micro coil spring. It was last uh, yesterday. And effect of centrifugal force on cell culture, effect of micro ridges on orientation of cultured cell, and culture of myoblast on gold film sputtered on polydimethyl siloxan disc. And the simulation of ridge formation in cortical bone near the anterior cruciate ligament insertion. And uh, session two, detect of sublethal damage with cyclic deformation of erythrocyte in shear flow. And micro hole for trapping flowing cell. And the behavior of cell passing through micro slit. Effect of ultrasonic vibration on culture of myoblast. Effect of flow stimulation on culture of osteoblast. And uh, come back to uh, the talk today. Uh, communication in interdisciplinary field is not easy. And the communication training is important for students of biomedical engineering course. Communication training needs common base. But nowadays, segmentalization of learning occurs, and a lot of studying field of study separated each other. So do we need integration for multidisciplinary problem? And speaking about interdisciplinary communication, uh, what is common base? Because each field has their uh, own history. And uh, um, for example, uh, speaking about technical term, technical term makes communication mismatch sometimes. For example, control. What is your image on control? If you are in engineering side, maybe control means adjustment or regulation. But in biological side, it means comparison. How about plasma? Maybe it means uh, electric dissociation or ionization in engineering side but plasma means supernatant of blood in medicine. Biological engineering field includes mechanics, electronics, materials, not only science and engineering, but also uh, biology, pharmacy, medicine, also economics, soci sociology, ethics, and religion uh, related to this field. So to take interdisciplinary communication, common base is needed in the mathematics and unit works well for common base. And if we switch to cross-cultural communication, each has its own culture and history, so what is common base? And the language is, uh, nowadays, uh, English is uh, very uh, useful for language, but uh, it is not a uh, native language, but international language. So cross-cultural and interdisciplinary has similarity. So I take, I have uh, taken many programs since 2002, and hundreds of students participated in uh, USA, Thailand, Japan, and so on. And this is example for last year's program. Group activity and presentation competition. All 
then dispersed over the ocean by an accident of a tanker. That is a uh, title and topic. Then students divided into several groups, of course, mixed up students. And each group has to make a report on the theme and to make a presentation in two days. In the case of last year, mechanical engineering, material science, environmental engineering, science of nursing, dentists, pharmacy, electronics, a lot of uh, very varied <coughs> variety of uh, field. From variety of fields, student comes and uh, of course uh, foreign students and visiting students includes, included. And the slide shows uh, the uh, scene of a uh, project and the presentation with slides. And the presentation with writing on board. So oil spill cleanup, uh, the student solution is uh, one student designed special machine to collect oil. And some students propose biological method to, to collect the oil. And another student proposes, proposes chemical method to change the material. And some students evaluate an economical aspect to the proposal. And this is from uh, Chilonong University in Thailand and the Mahidol University in Thailand. The experience in the program helps students not only understand new idea in the laboratory visit, but also make a presentation in the international research conference. This map from uh, medical imaging in UIC and robotic surgery in Bangkok. And the presentation in International Research Conference, uh, the left side is uh, the conference last year, this conference last year, and the poster presentation and also our oral presentation in Thailand. And the foreign language and digital data give students chance to study several things. How to make communication precisely, how to close credit data. Uh, technical report is uh, dif different from literature, painting, music, or so on. So key for communication. And uh, copy or uh, plagiarism. A technical report is not, in, not English, but international language uh, student use, and not subjective, but objective, and not emotional, but logical. And not nuance, but reality, and not abstract, but concrete, and not diversity, but uniqueness. So copy precisely is very important, and recipe, protocol, Methodology, instrumentation, equation, program, model, draft, database, many things. So students learn how to copy. And we are now living in digital uh, network world, so copy precisely and the copy original and citation is a very important point. For example, uh, if this is original, you can modify to bigger size or change ratio or change color or change brightness or change, rotate it. And if you take uh, biological data, you can, uh, it's possible you can uh, take a ratio change and uh, contrast change. So, copy precisely. 
don't change, don't modify it. And the student has to learn copy original, not copy of copy. And if the data is not common, student learn to show the citation. Uh, most of teacher, when, when they teach student, they say, do not copy. But how to copy is important. The result of research should be used widely. Economics, like a patent, is different matter from scientific matter. At the beginning, students tend to pay attention to the language itself who participated in this program. But after the seminar, students found it is not so difficult to find out the rule, but difficult to understand the background. The common background of biomedical engineering helps them find a new way of thinking. So a cross-cultural student program has been designed for communication training in the multidisciplinary research area, and the students from variety of backgrounds of research area and culture have joined in the program. The program works well for communication training in the multidisciplinary research area of biomedical engineering. The experience in the program helps students not only understand new idea in the laboratory visit, but also make a presentation in the International Research Conference. I thank to Dr. Mana in Chirong University and Dr. Jagrit of Mahidol University in Thailand and Professor Robert in Northwestern University and Richard in University of Illinois Chicago for collaboration to our project. Thank you for your attention.